Oh, let's leave it here. So let's open this guy and then let's desolder it. WD-40 and then you can jo enjoy the smell. <laughs> wow, this is a babushka, a box inside a box. Oh, and there's an envelope. The what? Babushka. Babushka is one of those Russian dolls that you open the the thing and another ball, another. Yeah, of course. I can't get enough 40%. But this, this was pretty, pretty cheap. This is a minivan PCB that I bought for 20 bucks. And it came with switches too, which I'm gonna desolder because I think they're junk. It's something like speed um, burnt oranges or something like that. We'll find out. Oh yes, I am. I am confusing it. I forgot your Russian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. I don't know why I thought it called babushka, but it, you're right. Oh, look, what is this? Oh, it's even worse than I thought. Look at this. Let me... Yeah, I'm sorry for the confusion, Panda. If, you, if I remember that you were Russian, I would not be so bold as to try to say a, a Russian word. <laughs> yeah, babushka is grandma. I'm sorry. Matreshka matres ma or whatever. Yeah, that's what I meant. So I don't know where this came from, but it's not great. So I think those are Gateron Browns. So yeah, let's desolder this. Nice cheese, yeah. And this PCB is actually quite different from the one that I have on my other minivan. I think I have the revision uh, 4.3 or something like that, and it's uh, it's way prettier. It's like a purple and uh, blue, if I'm not mistaken. This is version three. I think it's the one before the one that I have. Yeah, and the solder job is not. I mean, it's not bad. But it's uh, under soldered. There's too little solder in some spots, like here. But not terrible. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. Yes, and uh, I finally went back to the setup that I had before 
where I have two different cameras. This is the top view. Um, and down at the beginning, I, I used to use this camera as well, but I replaced um, the input cards or the capture card that I had with the one that you see on the top, which is a GX85. And so I was waiting for different cables to hook up to a different capture card. So now I have this and this. So what do you prefer? The top one. Yeah, I, I don't think it's, I don't know if it's the lens as much as it is the way it captures. I, do, I really don't know. Yeah, but the Canon, in my opinion, this camera here, the Canon 80 is really good. <coughs> I think we are ready to start. You, you prefer the warmer? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to white balance this one properly yet. But I, I will take a look into that to make this warmer. So the top one is the one you like better? It looks like it has a bluish tinge. Okay. I'll, I promise I'll look into it off camera.
I never tried an XD75, no. Did anyone in chat try it? Sometimes my camera live, well, my camera's live view do, do that. So, uh, pain in the ass, hold on. There's no way to disable it. Yeah, I have I have a board here that is shares the same underglow. I can I can show you. I have two of them. You know what? I'm just thinking I'm gonna switch to the top view because this thing is pissing me off. It's not that different. And warmer colors too, right? Wow, those, those switches were not even close to the PCB. As soon as I desoldered, they popped out. You see, those two. Also, the XD75 has hot swap. I didn't know that as well. Okay, got it. So there, there is a hot swap and non-hot swap version.
let's see if we got them all out. This one isn't coming out. Yes, Getter on Browns, except for this one that I don't know what this is. Removing the housing fucking sucks. You mean on the Topri? Oh yeah, 101 screws. Yeah, that, that I know. It's a pain in the ass. The nice G's one. All right, so there we have it. A desoldered minivan PCB ready to be rebuilt. And as I said, I wanna, I'll probably build it soon because I wanna see how it looks on this case. And I'm not gonna do pom-poms right now because I think I wanna add feet to this. But basically, and it's very high profile as well. So I think it's gonna look really good. All right, guys. Uh, just something I said I would show you is this. So this is a daisy um, and it has, it shares the same underglow as the XD series. So if you guys want to see that, I don't know how well it's going to be on this light, but we can try it. Where's that cable here? guys probably can't see it in this light let me see yeah now here you can you see even with all those lights you can kind of see it right let me kill the lights so this is a pretty good um, underglow strategy that they have with the tempered glass and everything. You can kind of see it's consistent ac across. And I have mine with my f the feet up, but if you bring it down, you can kind of see it from all the angles. Sorry. Yeah, so as I said, I like the underglow very much. I think it's pretty good. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'm about to wrap this up. Anything else before we go? All right, then you guys have a good weekend. And I guess I'll see you tonight on Anthony's stream, right? If not, catch you up on Discord. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.